Let's continue here. Road infrastructure and inadequate water provision remain major challenges for Fixburg and surrounding areas. This is despite promises by local governments to improve service delivery. After the death of Andri Stettani 10 years ago, committees were formed to fast track the provision of services, but road conditions have since worsened. Andri Stettani's death also put a spotlight on the issue of police brutality and a lack of service delivery in rural South Africa. Newsroom Africa's senior reporter Pilani Pakhadi is in Fixburg and joins us now. Pilani, it seems that even after many years since Andri Stadani was shot and killed in, in those tragic scenes in Fixburg, many of the issues that he and many others fought for have still not been fixed. I mean, speak to us about the service delivery uh, issues that are still emerging in that area. Well, definitely, I can tell you, uh, Ndanda, that one of the major concerns that really brought us here was uh, that particular announcement about two years ago uh, that there was about 620 million rand in irregular expenditure. And now, as we mark 10 years since the death of Andris Tatani, literally here, I'll just ask Morena to show you to my left. We are told that uh, uh, right here is where the, uh, the, uh, the fatal um, um, shots to the chest of Andri Stadan unfortunately had happened. And 10 years later, some of the challenges that uh, brought leaders like him here to march to the uh, Sitsoto local municipality to say that enough was enough at that time, uh, road infrastructure and as well as uh, water provision. And joining me now really to paint a picture of 10 years later, I'm joined by the local uh, uh, the, 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 the executive mayor here uh, at the Sitsoto local municipality, that is Komani uh, Kolwane. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, executive mayor, for joining us. Let's really start here. I think we have seen some uh, some 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 visuals. Uh, we were within your, your CBD there. Some of the roads, uh, I could say, have been uh, detarred. The 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 tar the tar road has been removed. Uh, there are just potholes uh, go coming into this particular town. I would say uh, that is a sense of embarrassment. What would be your thought on that? Yeah. No. Thanks very much. And the. And the um, um, I think the issue of the, the, the roads here in town, we are still busy with them. They are under construction. The reason why they've been scrapped is because um, we are intending to revamp them and to make them to be in the better conditions. It's just that uh, we've got some challenges here and there, but we are, we are working on that, and we are hoping that in the next few weeks we'll, we'll have done them and we'll have uh, actually closed all the potholes in, in, in the CBD. Yeah, but then what is the challenge with the contractor? I mean, uh, of course, there should have been some vetting there and there. Uh, the contractor came through, did not finish his job. And uh, that really goes back to the irregular uh, expenditure that was spent. Over 600 million rand already announced, and you got a qualified audit for the previous one. Of course, that's a major concern. Yeah, the issue of the unqualified, we are working on that. We are actually uh, making sure that we, we reduce the, the, the amount. And uh, I think we must, at the end, make sure that uh, we don't incur any regular ex expenditure. On, on the issue of the roads and the, also the debating, I think uh, it has got, uh, it's not the, the, the matter of irregular. It's just that the, uh, the, the conductor might have some challenges here and there, and we are working on that. As I'm saying, we're working on that, and I think in the last week we, we had a meeting with the community people, and we, they were raising some concern with regard to the condition of the, of the roads. So we, we assured them that in the next few weeks we'll have uh, finished the project, and we are on the ground. We are trying to make sure that uh, that matter is put on the, or, 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 uh, actually we, we correct it. Yeah, back in 2011, when the fatal incident happened, the, uh, after that, we've seen uh, uh, um, uh, the provincial government sending uh, committees here, interministerial committees were formed, uh, task teams were formed. And what has then, what were their, their, their business if uh, 10 years later you have, you now experience more or less similar challenges that brought people like Andri Stadana to come and uh, protest unto you guys? Yeah, let's remember that the, the, the main issue of, uh, of um, uh, 2011 was the issue of the infrastructure. It was also the, the issue of water, which uh, and now we have done uh, our best to make sure that we are able to provide water, even though here and there we still have some challenges. But let's remember also the issue of the aging infrastructure. We're working on the issue of the aging infrastructure even in town. Uh, the reason why we scrapped the, the, the roads is because the, the tar which was there was actually at the time of I think during the apartheid, so it was for the first time that we'll 
be doing this kind of the revamping of the of the road but the, needless to say the, the we have a problem of the aging infrastructure and we are saying um, the issue of Andrus Tatani being, uh, being killed at that time, we should not find ourselves going back to that particular uh, period uh, whereby one of our community members have to, had to lose his life because of the issue of the, the infrastructure or because of the services. So we are working very hard. Sotho is one of the first improving uh, municipality in, in free state in terms of uh, making sure that it provides basic services although we are saving some challenges but that we are doing our best to make sure that we are able to provide services on a regular basis to all our community members. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I can also add that uh, as far as the triple challenges, uh, inequality, poverty, and unemployment is concerned here in this particular municipality, it seems it's still a very deep concern as mayor while still getting the kind of audit outcomes that you are getting. What is it that you intend to ensure that you turn around the outcomes and there's no irregular expenditure, of course, even amounting to 620 million rand that we've seen about two years ago, that uh, you'd say as mayor this is the legacy that, I, that I'll be leaving. No, the issue of the revenue is one of the most important uh, factor, contributing factor. You, you'll, 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 you'll understand that uh, we are dependent on the crans. Sometimes we find that um, by, by the time we get the, the crans, we'll have accumulated uh, um, the debts and they will, we are not also able to have enough cash to fix even small uh, uh, problem. But the issue that we have also raised of the triple challenge is the issue of the poverty. Unemployment is very rife in our, in, our, in our municipality. So most of our community people can't pay for the service because of, unem because of the, 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 the unemployment. Yeah. But uh, can we also put the blame on the municipality's failure to collect the revenue where it can? Other businesses in the, in, in, within the uh, CBD in itself, are they paying the adequate electricity? Are they paying uh, the necessary bills that need to? Because I do know that there were challenges with ESCOM at some point where it needed its money on, on, uh, or else it was going to uh, put you guys uh, at the dock. No, let's remember that we were, we were one of the municipalities that has never had serious problem with, with ESCOM. We've been able to pay the ESCOM. If we will have a, 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 the areas will have maybe the area of one month or two months, but on the third month we'll be able to to to, de to defray the the, the 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 areas. But the issue yeah, of revenue the, collection, the, yeah. the re revenue collection. But the, I think in the recent past, I think in February we were able to pass the revenue enhancement strategy, and we were still having we were still having that revenue uh, strategy. But the one that we have adopted now, I think, is the most uh, important one that is going to help us to to go to that point of saying those who are able to pay, they must come forth and we must go at, uh, again to those who are not, or who are, uh, an, or in fact, who are reluctant to come and, and pay. So I think we, we, are, we are doing our best to make sure that the issue of the revenue we are able to collect uh, and also to encourage our people to come and collect so that we also augment that we, that we get from the government as a grant so that we are able to provide services to our people. A parting question from me in as quickly as you can. Ten years uh, later, Andrew Tadani has died, but of course in the next year, what do you think the family of Tadani and the communities should hold you guys accountable for the issues of improving roads and as well as uh, the revenue that you see now we have passed uh, its implementation process? Now that we have, uh, we have, we have adopted the revenue enhancement strategy, um, and again now that the, we had a meeting with the community, the stakeholders here, last week we made a commitment not only in town as, as well as in the location i think we met with the the the, the, the taxi uh, associations we made a commitment that we are going to attend to the issue of the roads we're going to do them and the, as i'm saying i also want to appreciate the community of mikhil in particular because they are able to come the we had a meeting with them they are regular they are they are on regular basis coming forth to say how far are we in terms of making sure that we attend to the issues that they have that they have raised and i want to appreciate that and it, that also make us to be able to 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 be on our toes to make sure that we yeah. attend to to our to the challenges as uh, the, the the people are experiencing there definitely komane uh, kolwane thank you very much is the executive mayor of uh, uh, setolo uh, here in uh, 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 the free state in that time then literally giving us uh, some of uh, his
uh, uh, ways uh, to deal with issues of roads infrastructure, the plans that he says are in place, and as well as to say that as far as the water provision is concerned, that uh, uh, led to the, to, the, to the strike of 2011 that also unfortunately passed with the life of Andris Tatane currently has come uh, uh, to be addressed and only uh, uh, challenges here and there, as he has put it, and that he will be dealing decisively with the matters of road infrastructure in the next uh, a year, I would say, and will be coming through to, uh, to be held accountable uh, in the next year. So you've seen how the roads look. They've been scrapped, and some of them just uh, are marred with potholes. And he says that is an amount, that is, an, is an issue that will be dealt with despite the 620 million rand irregular expenditure in the past years. Well, thanks there to our reporter, Bilani Pachadi, who's out in Fixburg. Well, we can